Here in France, it's possible to fly like a goose. Weather permitting, ordinary tourists can take flight in an ultralight and enjoy an exhilarating experience over the French countryside. Today I'm meeting Christian Moulek. He's a meteorologist by profession, but has been a bird lover since childhood. He began flying with them as part of a conservation project. I migrate with these birds in order to reintegrate them into nature. Some of these species disappeared because of hunting. These are birds that were facing extinction because of hunting during winter. I came up with the idea of teaching a new generation of birds that were living in captivity to migrate to protected areas in the southwestern part of Germany where they can spend the winter. Other animals also live in harmony with Christian's 200 birds. He tells me about the 12 different protected species on his farm near Aurillac in central France. Moulek flies at least once a day, usually in the mornings with his birds. Before each flight, he conducts a thorough check of his ultralight. There's so much to pay attention to when you're flying with birds. I've taught other pilots how to do it, but they never really get how it's done. I can do it because I know how to watch the birds. My eyes are always on the birds when I fly, to make sure they don't get hurt. I don't think about piloting the aircraft. The geese, meanwhile, are tame, but temperamental. <laughs> so it's always been man's dream to fly, and I'm not only going to take to the skies today like a bird, I'm going to take to the skies with birds. Like dogs going for a walk, the geese get excited about their flight. We go, we go. you're welcome on board. OK, bon bon. Okay. In this case, I think the helmet is wearing me for protection. I'm not really sure if I uh, know what to expect here. If the birds can do it, then so can I. And here we go. After the initial shock of taking off, I soon get into the sensation of soaring through the skies with the birds. Christian even encourages his guests to gently touch the geese once in flight, which is easy to do as their wings flap just centimeters away from my face. About 35 minutes in the air, we come in for the landing, which is actually somewhat scarier than the flight itself. But I am eager to go for another round. But the birds aren't ready to land just yet. I actually got tears in my eyes watching these birds fly. It was absolutely <laughs> incredible. And Christian, thank you so much for a wonderful flight. That was amazing. <laughs> Back at Christian's farm, guests can retreat to one of the four tree houses he had custom built. He wants his visitors to really connect with nature. So this morning I flew like a bird. It's time to live like one. Each cabin is comfortably outfitted with a bed, bathroom, and deck with a view of the countryside. Everything you see and smell here is natural, and that's good for us. People who come here every year to stay in the cabins and fly with the birds want to reconnect with nature and reboost their energy. You can't do that in the city. After experiencing Christian's life for a day, I too am ready to unwind. Wow, what a day. This has been quite a day of firsts for me. First, my first flight in an ultralight flying with birds, and now my first time staying in a tree house. All right, so for me, it's goodbye for now. Au revoir. Come on, birdie, let's go. Come on. And as the day comes to an end, I can still feel the wind beneath my wings.